When you're using your browser day in and day out, are you really thinking about your privacy online and who owns that data? Yeah, probably not. However, being good digital citizens, we owe it to ourselves. I was recently approached by Mozilla, so the makers of Firefox, to try out Firefox 57. And I have to admit that it has been years since I have used Firefox. So during this conversation, I was floored with everything that Mozilla is doing to fight data privacy. And with all the changes that they've made to Firefox, I could not wait to try this out. So it's been a month since I've been using Firefox 57 and I wanted to share my experience with you because while we don't always like change, especially when it involves anything that we're doing online, I think that this is going to be a change you will enjoy. Immediately after downloading, I was asked if I would like to import my bookmarks, my history, my passwords, and any other data from Chrome. So that means that fear number one for me was dismissed because I wouldn't be starting off from ground zero. Next up, I set up an account with Firefox Sync. So fear number two is now dismissed because knowing that anytime I'm working on my desktop or on my mobile, as long as I'm logged in, I will have all the information that I need, no matter where I'm working from. Now, I'll be honest, that fear number three for me was speed. And I have to say, I have not been disappointed. In fact, in many tests, speed tests, with Firefox against Chrome, Firefox has been holding its own and sometimes coming out on top. Hence the name Firefox Quantum. Going back to Mozilla and everything that I've been learning about them, they are a nonprofit, and I did not know this, and they are all about fighting for data privacy. So Firefox actually exists because people like me are saying yes to a free and open web and no thanks to a growing corporate power. Plus, you are always in control of your online information. So you can always use Firefox private browsing to block ads with trackers for extra peace of mind, plus with pages that load up to 44% faster. There are a couple of Chrome extensions that I use for work that weren't available for Firefox, so I will still be going back and forth for a little bit. However, Firefox is now my default browser, and it's been nice knowing that this is a change for the better. I'll leave a link inside the description box on where you can go and download Firefox 57 for yourself and try it out. Plus, I would love to hear what you think of the cool new design, their cool in-browser screenshotting tool, and anything else. So let me know inside the comments or even on Twitter. And subscribe if you haven't already, because hopefully I would love to see you back in one of the next videos.